With the leaves changing and the weather taking a cold turn, it was time to take out my Filson Mackinac Cruiser in a Seattle cut. The interesting story of this jacket unravels by taking apart each bit of the name. In 1897, Clinton C. Filson opened up a small outfitting shop for loggers and for prospectors heading up to the Yukon for the famous Klondike Gold Rush where over 100,000 prospectors went to seek gold in northern Canada. After the gold rush, Filson transitioned into making outdoor goods. He hit a proverbial gold mine himself in 1912 with his design of the cruiser shirt. This was a shirt with a variety of pockets suited for the various tradesmen and outdoorsmen that were colonizing the Pacific Northwest at the turn of the 20th century. It had a variety of pockets including a famous Mac pocket in the back. Filson's cruiser designs easily transitioned into the popular Mackinac style wool jacket of that time. The Mackinac region in present day Michigan was an important artery for trade in the 18th and 19th century. And of course the cold weather there demanded high quality wool coats with a highly functional short coat design. And this design was something that Filson himself was able to take his specific styles of pockets and transition into a coat that we now famously know as the Mackinac Cruiser. The Mackinac Cruiser exists in current form in this jacket. This is a lined Seattle cut Mackinac Cruiser that you see me wearing. Still made in Seattle, much in the spirit of the Mackinac Cruisers of yore, this features the variety of pockets of the original Mackinac Cruisers, as well as the now famous Mackinac wool, a wool cloth that is shrunk about 25% while it's being made, and it gives the cloth a very dense and a very stout feel. It also features a variety of double construction, such as the extra layer of wool in the back pocket. One of the ways this particular model of the Mackinac Cruiser has been updated is with the Seattle Cut. This gives what I would describe as a more tailored fit. It is a slimmer fit, but it doesn't lose any flexibility, so I would describe it as still retaining much of the lines of the original Mackinac Cruisers. Let's take a closer look at this jacket in particular. I like this model with a combination of gray and navy, giving it a semi-formal look that gives it a lot of flexibility for fall wear. As you can see, it's a beautifully buttoned jacket and has a variety of snap pockets. In fact, it has, you'll see a total of four flat pockets, one patch pocket, two hand warmer pockets on the lower flat pockets, and then of course there's the dual axis rear mat pocket. All of the flaps and the inside of the hand warmer pockets have a felt wool lining, which definitely adds to the comfort. What also adds to the comfort is the cotton flannel lining. This is Filson's well-regarded Alaskan Guide flannel, a seven ounce cotton flannel, and it's very comfortable. You can see an additional tag down there with extra information. I'll show you that in a little bit. And as we fold the coat up, you'll notice that the sleeves themselves are also button adjustable. This is a nice feature which is gonna ensure that really whatever size watch you have is easily gonna be able to fit underneath the cuff of this jacket. And with any of my largest watches, even on the smaller button, the fit allows for a watch to slide under very easily when you're wearing just an Oxford style shirt underneath. On the back, of course, we have the large wide map pocket with two large snaps, and it is just a big, beautiful piece of wool on the back that adds a whole nother layer of warmth. And it's not something I ever really expect to put a map in, um, but in the occasion of needing to have some extra storage, it's definitely nice. Now the collar has that wool felt lining in the back, which in my opinion is one area where I would fault the design because the collar doesn't pop very sturdily. You really need to be wearing a scarf with this jacket, but the heavy wool design otherwise throughout the jacket would seem to lend itself to being able to pop the collar in a real windy condition. This jacket features 24 ounce Mackinac wool for all of the panels, coupled with that seven ounce flannel lining. I think it's gonna keep me warm most of the winter. Filson's wool jackets don't come cheap. You'd be lucky to find one of these for under $300. And so some of the details I think are worth showing. You have very high quality buttons, very high quality branded snaps, and lots of carefully thought through details in the whole jacket. The extra felt on the pocket flaps ensure they're not going to flap unnecessarily. That extra felt in the pockets is gonna ensure that your hands are not rubbing against an abrasive surface. 
On the inside of the jacket, you do have a substantial coat hook, as well as the traditional Filson tag, as well as a more detailed tag, giving you some of the more specific care instructions. The texture of the wool throughout seems to be consistent despite the two tones. The stitching quality throughout the jacket is also consistent. This jacket is made in Seattle and is clearly machine stitched so there are a few stray threads throughout that my OCD personality is definitely going to trim at some point. But overall I'd say the stitching quality is very consistent and all the material quality is also very high. I haven't noticed any pilling for example with that flannel. Overall this is a beautiful jacket minus the one flaw of the collar which I think is a little bit of annoyance, maybe an excuse to wear a scarf. One more speculative problem that I might point out about the Filsa Mackinac Cruiser since people who would be looking for this kind of jacket would be searching for really the very best jackets that are out there is that this brand is now owned by a uh, brand holdings company. It's shifted owners a variety of times and now it's currently owned by the same people who own a variety of fashion brands. Some people have claimed that the quality of the jackets have gone down in some of these transitions. There are definitely examples of Mackinac Cruisers that came in a heavier wool than the current versions that are made, but in my experience, the quality of this jacket is still very high. The Filson Mackinac Cruiser is one of those jackets that you choose primarily for yourself so that you'll have a jacket that you'll be able to enjoy and rely on for a long time. But I think that with this high quality of jacket and with this kind of traditional design, there is an aspect of hope that someday you might be able to pass this jacket on for someone else to enjoy someday. If you found the history or details provided in this video interesting, I want to invite you to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And thank you very much for your time.